Farmers in the midst of harvesting in golden wheat fields are sitting around eating together. Another farmer, who appears to have finished his meal early, is taking a nap with his mouth open, as if exhausted from hard work. The expressions on the farmers' faces as they talk and eat look quite bright. Some people eat what appears to be a white stew, which is believed to be a traditional Belgian dish of Flemish origin, vaterazui. One farmer turns around and cuts cheese from a basket, and you can see the bread right next to it. In the center of them are also four or five pears that seem to have just been picked up. In fact, behind the farmers, you can see two people picking up fallen pears, and if you move your gaze along the tree, you can see one man shaking the tree in a funny pose. In the distance, through the trees, you can see roofs of buildings that appear to be part of the village including the one of church. If you go down the road leading to the wheat field from the place where people are still working, you can see a building that looks like a nobleman's house. The eyes naturally follow the carts carrying bunch of wheat along the road and where the cows are headed. If you look closely, you can see monks taking off their clothes and washing themselves and villagers doing cock throwing, a kind of blood sport practiced in Europe until the 18th century. In a distance, you can see the sea with large and small ships floating. The Harvesters is a 1565 book by Peter Bruegel the Elder. In the 16th century, Flemish painter Peter Bruegel the Elder was already interested in the ordinary lives of ordinary people before genre painting became popular in the Netherlands, and he painted many paintings on the subject of their simple life. As a peasant painter, he is also evaluated as a pioneer in elevating the genre painting of the time into a category of art by portraying rural landscapes with his unique witty humor, poignant satire, and meticulous naturalistic observation and description. At that time, it is said that paintings depicting seasonal labor were very popular as the subject of calendars, and The Harvesters is known as one of six series depicting the seasons along with The Hunters in the Snow, The Gloomy Day, The Return of the Herd, and The Hay Harvest. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, which has been exhibiting this painting since 1919, calls it a watershed in Western art history.